Mino Black here, and we'll save the F word. I know people get sick of it, but it's just my way of saying hello to you folks out there. <laughs> okay, that is what you just saw. Check it out. And now I'm just real fast on this because just got excited because the, I believe that's the new Meyer station there. They've got a walk line out there, either that or a phone line or something. It does look like a walk line that you know that if anybody's been to the Antarctic or watched National Geographic, or like they have major storms up there, and the idea you don't want to lose track of yourself or lose your way, dark, whatever, uh, storm. Also, the idea, I think they have it measured out for looking at, yes, folks, remember, go back to my early videos of holy cow and the fan that got interrupted on the first original video and everything like that. Check it out. We got the sun, and we got the glow and the flare, and it, things are starting to come to fruition on sniffing out exactly what everything is, and then check that out. Now, I'm going to come back and zoom in on that, okay, because that is part of... We got our uh, baby blue planet, or baby whatever you want to call it. Now, we do know that from watching my last two videos about the supergiants, we do know that that is B, okay? The baby sun. Now, is this the baby sun right here, right now, there? Or is that, uh, well, baby sun is 0.77% of our sun. And we do know that this B is in front of the sun. So, it sure should be B. This should be the baby sun right here. This is all baby sun. And then that's our baby planet. That the Chinese footage and our space shuttle with Officer Scott, astronaut Scott. Yes. So let's check this footage out. Now this was a f the still that when I was looking at the photos because the idea that the other thing that I want to show you is the idea that I believe we're getting a shadow of our baby blue planet down there that we've always kind of thought about it. Other people have had the videos. The religious dude, he's had it and stuff uh he wasn't the one that i had friends that basically maybe they seen it on his channel to get me to go down there and look down there but as soon as i saw it the first take on it was and there you go this is near my station today uh we don't have a date let's get you a date okay so me shut up and let's go okay there's 12 but it's gmt remember that so that's overseas that's the wind greenwich time so it's still the 11th here when i'm recording this right now it's 11 11 2011 still in the evening that is not a human being out there walking, folks, okay? We were on zoomed up on that a, mi a minute ago. So that's not a human being out there walking, okay? So the idea that there is your shot. Now let's go to the photo uh, lapses. And I figured I better remember, check the time, 140.02. And that's what we know of it rising down there in this, in below the Earth, South Antarctic, okay? And then coming up over and then disappearing somewhere around 930 or beyond. UMT, GMT, Zulu time. And a big hi to all of our scientists down there. And uh, my blue eyes can't lie. I'd like to say hi to the German scientists down there from, uh, and, all the, and all the scientists down there, and the American scientists, everybody that's down there, every nation, under gods or whatever, spirits, whatever anybody wants to believe in. Okay, now remember these directions. We got 20 km north of the station. Uh, and you can go to my old videos. And the idea of the roof station shoots to the south. So the idea that I do believe uh, the acoustic observatory is 20 kilometers north of the station. Okay, so that, that shot there I do believe was 20 miles north of the station. Let's go up here and take a look. View from the near three to the south. Okay. So basically, the shot that we had, folks, was Nehemiah to the south. Okay. So south... Pointing south for the station roof. Okay. So, basically, I guess that shout, south shot is so that they can see the roof on the station. So, I do believe that's the station. Oh, that gets a little confusing. But anyway, read it and figure it out and go to the end. Basically, uh, Alfred Wiggenmeyer... Wigan Air Institute, all over her. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me go to these photos that I'm going to show you with the shadow that we're probably getting from. So I, I still knew we were on the right track when I had some idiots coming in and going, like, I see the equipment move every day and that the idea that that that's what makes the shadow. And then I knew for damn sure that we did know that it was basically more than likely some planet. Now, I'm going to show you a shot and make sure you know that, okay, they took this at 1400 hours GMT 
and this was yesterday would have been the uh, yeah the 11th okay they're on the 12th right now down there even though it's still 7:57 central time here it's already 12 the 12th and it's GMT down there which is the the 0 to 3 hour that we always end up knowing that we end up having this action okay that we can see this stuff okay now 12 to 15 GMT I'm gonna research where the moon was at so that we know that this is not the moon okay now you can sh see by looking at these stills better than the movie that basically you should have been able to figure that out there too but the idea that you know that this is some other planet now that dip is also what I'm trying to figure out is the idea is that in that niche you see that niche right there and let me go to that picture okay do you see that niche I'm wondering if this is the niche that we see on what we seen the baby sun star but the thing is if that's baby sun star that we do know from our last video we know that it's B Cantaris B okay we know that that's the baby star but the idea does this dead planet which is that basically this matches and makes us pretty much knowledgeable know and hopefully maybe the New Year Mario guys will break down and tell us the truth you know maybe somebody can leak us some but the idea that this edge kind of matches the other size in the fracture of the baby star Cantaris B that's in front of the Sun right now okay which should probably be it either that or this baby Sun that we see is actually a baby Sun even smaller than Cantaris B which is 0.77 percent the size of our Sun okay but Cantaris B is in front of the Sun right now in the supergiants folks so we're getting more sunlight we should be getting more sunlight from Cantaris B okay let me pause this okay folks knowing where the moon is at basically this is current okay so this is 8 p.m. our time and we know that it's already the 12th over there but at the time I showed you a little bit ago and knowing when that the moon travels yes it comes up in the east and it goes this way we know that that's not the moon giving the shadow down there okay so I don't even have to go look up the 13 14 or 15 or whatever it is GMT time I don't have to go look it up because we already know that the moon is not on the South Pole it's not down there and it's not given in the shadow so we know it's the baby planet so ie we're starting to figure out this niche now remember that if you go to watch my Chinese one uh, the panties off the baby planet thanks China the idea that you'll see a niche corner cut like that on that baby star Cantaris P possibly or a smaller baby star along with this baby planet that we know gives us a shadow okay it's not totally perfectly circular and it's not equipment folks it's too damn big ie we know it's too damn big folks we know that this is not equipment down there and we see the far away shots we know what's north and south there is nothing down there this damn big to give this damn big of a shadow that damn big of a shadow you see how big that shadow is see how big that shadow is and you know it moves skyward okay from 12 to 15 GMT let's get the time on the deal so we know at about 1400 hours going back hang on okay so we need the, we know the big bugger that makes the shadow starts at 1400 hours and then it is here at 1700 hours ie 1700 hours three seconds so there you go big monster moving along okay folks you didn't miss nothing and it's already there so now I'm gonna go back so now you okay I just truncated it folks and basically there's a dark shadow that comes over at nine something and matter of fact there it just was again now and I'm gonna go to a photo real fast I'm gonna let this play Okay, I've snapshotted it, folks. So basically, I'm going to back up, and there's that shadow. Okay, so there is an object that's dark that comes over, and maybe that's what they're doing is that marker is they're showing or trying to get a progression of from where it was last time. Okay, so I have one photograph that shows something out sitting out there, and we get some kind of idea. So we'll zoom in on it a thousand to find out. But there's a shadow, so they're trying to they're measuring these shadows that they come in, folks. They're starting to measure this stuff down there. I either snow fan, or the, you know, the safety line plus measuring distance. Probably because that marker there from the last time they seen it shadow up the day before or whatever. Okay. 
So that's a shadow that shows up right here. Let me go back to the footage and it might show up. So here it is playing, folks. Hopefully it'll play real fast. And yeah, 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 you got a guy going out there. So I'll we'll worry about zooming on that picture before, but you can see the glare of the baby sun or whatever and Canteris B because we know the Canteris B is in front of the sun. So there it goes, the object, of the, basically the baby planet in front of the sun, basically in front of Canteris B, and the sun's behind Canteris B. And we could have like a third, there could be a baby smaller sun, that the idea of the Chinese footage happened, or the idea that they actually were up there shooting and shot Canteris B. There's a guy out there walking again. So anyway, we got proof of that shadow coming across at like, 908 or 980 yeah 908 or something like that okay and here it comes again I think that's the baby yeah and then there it'll be the baby planet in front of the sun so here it comes so basically they're going out to take a look at it in the equipment here comes this, there's a snow plow as I went back. Basically the snow tracker, snow track. And I'm gonna hit play again. So there it goes real fast. Let's see if I can play with this in the step motion. But the idea that, well I can go, if I can get back, there it is, there's the baby planet. Near my webcam. There you go. Again, we've got it in front of the basically Cantaris B because we know Cantaris B is 77% of our sun, which is their sun, is behind there. Watch my last videos, my last two videos of the Super Giants. Basically, that could be still 77% because the idea that this is the sun back here at the 100% the sun is plus the Super Giants. Okay? And then there is just the Cantaris B, which is in front of the sun which we got the baby planet showing up in front of the sun. Okay, so as we step forward here really fast, I'll get to the shadow coming up. So Hoover's out in the snow groom, snow track. They were out at 820. Okay, watch right here what's in the, in basically that is the sky up there, folks. Watch what shows up there. Check that, see that? Watch. Check that out. Some kind of something in the, like an, you know, first thing that comes to mind, an orc cloud or something. But see that in the horizon and in the air there? Now watch that. There it comes. It's flowing. Okay, that's just the sky then. It's just a, it's just a cloud overhang. It's a cloud overhang. Then it opens up. Okay, and then we're going to get the, the dark spot coming over the horizon. And folks, just joking here a little bit, but right at 1300, watch somebody turn a flashlight on. <laughs> Basically a very bright ray from what? In 10 minutes, we get a very bright ray, okay? At 1310 GMT, okay? So maybe just the clouds, but it sure looks like it's our dark object going and doing something because it's 1350 now, okay? Here comes our baby planet, folks. It's got to be it. You can even see it now. Yeah, they're back out with the track machine. They're checking it out, getting a picture of it, whatever. It's something to look at. If I was down there, it would be something to look at. It's coming up every day. Check out the big shadow that it actually even puts on over top of. Maybe just everybody shows up. Hang on. Well, the equipment's over there, okay? But that's not making the shadow, folks, because you're getting a shadow here and there. So the idea that he works his way around, okay, during that time, so they go out to get a glimpse at it. Okay, it starts up here, and no, they're not going out to meet somebody or something like that. And it's not shadowing the camera, folks. It's getting a shadow from the sun. Okay, so that's our object. That's our baby something. Okay. 
and they go out probably to get a look at it because look at these guys legal disclaimer 